Um, so you've got the pendant alarm, which can also be worn as a wristband. And these rely on someone being aware that there's a danger and aware that they need to summon assistance. So if someone is unaware of a danger and, or unable to trigger a call for assistance, then you might want to go for some of these sensors that can be used around the house. So the most obvious one is the smoke detector. So if someone is unaware of there being smoke in the house and that being a risk, then they might not summon assistance. So the smoke detector can be linked through the care alarm to the local call centre who will then have on their screen a list of what you want them to do in the case of a fire. And usually if it is a smoke detector, then they will be calling the fire brigade. And again, you would want to have a key safe on the wall if you're using one of those. If someone is living in a smoky environment, either because they do a lot of cooking or they're a smoker, then you might be better going for something like the extreme temperature alert, which can detect unusually high temperatures which might indicate a cooking fire but it can also indicate pick up low temperatures which would indicate that someone might be not using their heating and may be at risk of hypothermia. The next one carbon monoxide detector can be used if there's a risk of someone having faulty appliances. We would tend to maybe say you need to get your faulty appliances seem to rather than rely on having a carbon monoxide detector. The same goes with the flood detector which operates by it's kept on the floor of the kitchen or the bathroom and it will send an alert if moisture reaches three points on the bottom. The problem with that is that the floods already happened so by the time the call's gone through to the call centre and a neighbour has been alerted and found their keys and arrived at your house, the flood is well on its way to possibly flooding the flat downstairs. So we would always recommend you look at the risk, why the flood is a risk and how you can avoid that. So for example, the simple Magi plug, which would lift out of the plug hole. Um, there's lots of other things that you can call us and talk to us about the other alternatives to having a flood detector. It's rarely useful. And the other problem with the flood detector is it's so small and looks like an air freshener that quite often they get thrown away or put in the wrong place. <laughs>